You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Excited to bring you the next video in our Lundby Dollhouse series for the small land Swedish dollhouses. On the far left, you will see I have the garden and sunflowers and a couple other items like a mailbox. In the middle is the rabbit uh, cage with two rabbits. And on the far right, I have the outdoor lounge chairs and table and plants. And if you're keeping up on the series, you will see I've started with actually just putting it together and showing you those steps, then adding the outdoor garden area, which this is all gonna go into. And then I thought today would be a good day to actually bring in the electricians and add some power to the house. So I'll do that and we'll test some lighting. But I like to do is actually go over each uh, new product individually. So I'm gonna start with the garden set on the left. We'll check that out and we'll work our way through and then we'll add this all to the dollhouse. All right, here we go. This is everything that's in this set. So you get a mailbox and I put the mail inside because it does open. There's your mail. It looks like it's even got postage on it. And it's addressed to my family. And then this is gonna hang somewhere. So I'll have to figure that out. And then you get all these sunflowers. Check those out. They do bend. Little harder plastic up here and then softer down here. And there's quite a few of those. And then you get more on this garden. Now you don't have to have all these in there. And it looks like they're varying heights too. So you can adjust your garden. And then you get pumpkins, which come out. Let's take a look at those. Those are nicely detailed carrots. And this looks like cauliflower, I think it is, with white. I can't think of any other white garden item besides that. So overall, take a look at it. All the carrots you get. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four of these and two pumpkins. All right, so when I come back, I will show you the next little set. And we will keep going. The next set is my rabbit. So now we have the dogs moved in, the rabbits moved in. And don't worry, cat lovers, we have some cats that are going to move in as well. It's going to be a nice family of animals in our house. You've got the white rabbit, and then the brown rabbit, and then this folds up. Look at that. You could open up this little screen side and let your rabbits in. Feed them and take care of them, and then they can come out this way. Hop down and hang out in the garden area. Watch those carrots. Ooh, let me feed one of them a carrot. You might like the carrot. Here he goes. Very tasty. All right, and then let me just turn this around so you can see the back of it. It's all open, plenty of air for them to get. Lots of breeze coming in, so I think they're gonna enjoy being outside while it's nice and warm. We'll have to move them inside when it gets cold, so when I come back, I'll show you the outdoor furniture set. All right, I'm just getting Dad set up now to sit down. He's hanging out with Mom. Let's get him in his chair. Okay. Looking good, Dad. Relaxing. So you get the two chairs, you get the table, and then you have two glasses, and what looks to be like a plate with a dessert or something on it like that. It's got a little rose on top. And then you get these pots. Now, two of the pots don't have the saucer on the bottom, so one of them comes with a little saucer. Looks like terracotta pots. And then here's both chairs. So when I come back, I'm all set with these. I'm just going to show you the lighting we're going to do, which I didn't show you earlier because it was a surprise. And then we'll head over to the house. All right, so I have the power supply and then a set of lights. Now I have a lot more lights. What I want to do is get at least one set hooked up, get the power working so we can check that out. And then, uh, well, actually, let me just take the lights out right now for you here. We will take a look at them right now, if they're easy to take out. Sometimes these are easier than other times to take things out of these packages, and I like to save all the packaging as much as possible. Of course, you know that about me. If you've watched the videos before, let's just see. Now, a lot of these have just inserts that pull off the top. Nice, there you go. So now I can get to the lighting. There we go. So this looks like a hanging globe light, and it has a sticky top to it. So I would take that off and then install that where I want in the house. And then here's a couple light fixtures. 
I'm going to handle those gently. Push them off in the bottom. So those are all also sticky on one side. So there's two of those. All right, and then I have the power supply. Let's see if they give you any information with that. Now remember that hooks on to the back. So I'll have to run power. Like I said, get the electricians in. It's time for them to get the house set up. Well, here's your power supply. And remember that hook up in the back. Well, oh, and they give you a little instructions with it. All right, so there. Okay, so that's out. So a maximum of 36 lamps. I think we're pretty good there. So when I come back then, I will have, there's the plug by the way. I will have the house set and then we will do the outside garden and then the lighting. All right, the kids are in the yard hanging out. The dogs are waiting for you at the gate. They're waiting for me at the gate. Let me get mom in here. I'm gonna put them in this section here so they can recline and hang out while everybody's working on their house. There you go, dad. And then we'll put the table sort of in between them. And they each have a little cup. Perfect. All right, and now I have the potted plants from that set, right? So let's, you know, let's put one in the corner of the garden area here like this. So in this corner by the house, that would be a nice spot. And then we'll put this one here behind Dad. And then we'll put the other one in the other corner of the house out here. Now, I was thinking I might move my brown pieces, which I did. I put them in front because I want my flowers to really stand out. So let me grab some of those and put those in here. And now... I'll put, uh, let me see, I don't think I have enough to fill every single one, so I'll space them out and then see. Right, one, two, three, four. I could put four in each side. So let's put those in front of the fence so they're over the fence. That looks cool. I'll give you close-ups of everything in a little bit once I get everything set. One, two, three, and four. Ooh, that one's bent over. Alright, there you go. And that happens with sunflowers. You ever seen those giant sunflowers that all of a sudden decide to bend over? Okay. And then the garden. Let's put the garden off out of the way in the corner here. Okay. Alright, and then my mailbox. Now, I'm not sure. I didn't look. I mean, I'd probably put it right here by my front gate so my gate could open. I wouldn't put it on the gate, but you can put it wherever you want to put it. And then the last thing is the rabbits. All right, so let's get the rabbits in here. Let's see, let's put them near the garden. How about right here off to the side so they're out of the way, but the kids can still play with the rabbits and hang out. Let's see, do the rabbits and the dogs get along? I think so. Yes, they all get along. All right, so let's move now inside the house. Let me hook up the lighting and let's check out that feature next. All right, simple enough, we are at the back of the house and it's time to plug it in. Now, it should go either way, so if you wanna go this way or this way, it should not matter. So let's just put it this way. Okay, and let's go check inside now. All right, now I'm not sure on placement yet exactly where I want these particular lights. I have to go over all the lights that I have and decide which room I'm gonna set these in. This is just to see them plug in and light up. So let's plug in one here. I missed the holes, it's hard to see. Okay, so this would hang on the wall like that. Nice little light. Maybe a reading light in the bedroom. I'm not sure yet. I have to decide all that. Okay, light number two. And then let me just plug this one in. This would be good up here, probably in this area as a hanging light in the walkway area by the stairs there. So I can do that and then hang it over the stairs where you come up the stairs. That might be a good spot. All right, I'll tell you what, let me decide that. Maybe grab a little furniture. Let's continue. And then uh, I'll come right back once I make that decision.
All right, so time for some furniture in our bedroom. I decided to do mom and dad's bedroom set because those little lights will work great in there. So this is how the box is. You got the pillows, the bed, and two nightstands with pictures for mom and dad. Now I've already sort of prepped the box a little bit so that makes it easier for me to get into. And here we go. Let's take a look at everything that's in this particular set. So there's your picture of mom, and you have this little table, which looks like it's gold on the top. It's got little holes on it. All right, let's just, here, let's do this. Let me move this out of the way so you can kind of see it all as I take it out. And then I'll kind of set it up here, and then I'll move it to the house. And here's dad. So what I'll do is I'll put those little lights over each of the end tables. And then here is the bed. Let's take a look at that. All right, you see you have the gold in here, the gold on the top, squishy gold pillows, squishy gold pillows, and then squishy just regular pillows. So your mattress does come out, and this is what the bed looks like, okay? Let's get those pillows back on there. It's a nice little set. All right, so what I need to do here, we'll prop them up like they're reading is get this in the house and then I'll install the lights and we'll get that all set up. All right, I am back and I have one light in just so that I can easily, well actually figure this out much easier so I can set this where it needs to go. I put that bed in. There's a lot to consider here when you're putting in your lighting and that and then you need to have the picture in there so the picture sits on the table here. Okay, so that was my choice and my height so that you can read in bed. Now let's get that next one in. Remember, there's a little sticky tab on the bottom, so you just, see that there? You just take off your sticky tab, plug in your light, and then match it up to the other one as far as where you want it to go. And I'm going to say it's going to be up here, pretty close to that. Now let me put this in without the bed and it'll be easier for me. And of course, you're probably going to want to spend more time hiding your cords and getting everything just right. And it looks like we're pretty close there. Now slide this in to hide everything. There you go. All right. So the bedroom is pretty much set. I might have to get more furniture. Let me come back now, put everything in the one I added today, and then we'll check out the whole set now. All right, my room is set. Top left, as you can see. I noticed one of my lights was a little lower, so I made that adjustment and fixed it. And then the rabbit hutch is off to the right. It's hard to see. So what I'm going to do at some point is take the camera off the tripod and then show you close-ups of everything. But for now, what am I going to name everybody? I don't have a name. I just have the LPS family, but I don't have mom and dad's name or the kid's name, so when I have playtime, like here, I can, Mom could say, Honey, where's, where's your daughter? See, no name, so, and then uh, Dad can go, Son, where's your sister? I don't know, Dad, I'm playing with the dogs now. I think she's upstairs jumping on your bed. And then Dad can come out. Do, 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 do. We can walk him through the house, and he can come all the way over here. Honey, what are you doing up here? Dad, I was just jumping on the bed, and, you know, I just wanted to play a little bit. Okay, honey. Come on down when you're done playing. And then I can have names for everybody, right? Sally, Bobby, I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Let me do this next. Let me get the camera off the tripod and I'll take a close-up shot of everything so you can kind of see it in more detail. All right, so here's an aerial view of the yard. Let's go and see where the dogs are. They're hanging out with the boy or son or what's his name? Timmy? I don't know. And then here is the garden. Remember, we put that in. And then the rabbit hutch. I have it open now. And then let's zoom over to our bedroom where I adjusted the lights. A little more level now. I mean, it's hard to tell. The camera's on a slight angle. but. And then mom and dad down here hanging out. All right. So what do you think? We're getting there. I think it's just going to take some time for me to add things in. I don't want to just add too much in and then not have an idea, you know, where it goes or just put it in just to fill it. I want to make sure 
my house is set just right. So this is video three. I'm guessing maybe three or four more videos to fill up the house. And we got some bonus items that just arrived for winter. So that'll come in December probably. So if you like this video, let us know in the comments down there. And remember, family's name. And we'll pick and choose different names so everybody can have a say. And if you want to see those other videos, look in that description for a playlist. Or as always, you can search Lucky Penny Shop. And thanks for watching. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. You can always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up. Thanks for watching.